Hey guys and welcome back for more Trails of Cold Steel. We last stepped off, we finished up the second field day, he has a uh, free day, a, as well as as well as the second practical exam. Um, in which after that we found out found out where we were going and, and, and with who, which we got paired up with Marcus and Eustace, who wasn't thrilled about it, so they com they they decided to complain at Sarah, who's like, "Oh, hey, if you have complaint, if you if you don't like it, like it, you can try to force me, for try to make me change by force." As as and which she proceeded to absolutely destroy Marcus, Marcus, Eustace, and Lean, and, and thus we end up heading to Brayhar. Barrier Hard, which is the capital of the la land that uh, Yusuf's family owns, and we got through the first day, and most of the second day, and, but things became amiss when when Yusuf got set, got called back to his family house, and and now Machias has been has been arrested on. Um, obviously false charges and now we're trying to set trying to uh, rescue Machias which is pretty much the last thing you 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 do in uh, in this in this chapter I told you not to bother with the expensive looking places. But you ignored me and kept checking out the jewel jewelers and clothes shops anyway. Well, that certainly was satisfying. Only commoners like us could find satisfaction in window shopping. <laughs> I mean, window shopping is not... Could be, could be interesting just looking at random things. I remember, like... Over, like over ten years ago, why, why spend more time hanging out with, with a friend, and, and, and there's times where we would go to like Walmart, Walmart for example, at like two in the morning, like one, it's like one in the morning, and we just, oh, and all we did, it was just, all we did was just walk around for like an hour or so, like an hour, hour and a half, just walking around and and talking about certain things what we were looking at. Not really doing much in terms of being productive, just go oh, hey. Hey this this looks interesting. Talk about this. Uh, I 
I think we gotta get there from the from the from the sewers. If I remember correctly. Which we go get to from over here. The underground waterway? Hmm, I can feel a breeze if I'm inside. Seems like it's pretty spacious. This must be the place then. Now we just need a way to unlock it. Probably not a good idea to draw my sword in the middle of the city. May I have a try? A hairpin? You're going to pick it? <laughs> I have no idea if it will actually work, but it's worth a shot, right? Yep, more magic. Wow, that was really impressive. <laughs> I remember reading how to do it in a mystery novel once. I'm so glad it actually worked. Oh, now that's kind of that's kind of a, a bit of a, a stretch there, as I guess I. I read it in a mystery novel, and instantly, and instantly I know how to pick locks. Like, wait, what? <laughs> nice job, Emma. You should be able to get inside now. Let's get all the things in order, then head on in and pray no one sees us. Okay? Sounds good to me. Yep. Yep, let's be all sneaky. Waterway is actually exactly quite pretty. I was expecting the Verdant City to be beautiful, but it never, it never dawned on me that my same might be true of its underground. There are tricky monsters here too, though. You need to head west is to the part of the waterway that connects with the provincial army's guardhouse. Once we're there, we'll have to find a way inside so we can rescue Marquis. Right. Understood. Up, uh, the CP. Eat our thoughts of pizza. All the pizza. There we go. Hey! Smack. Chasa! Tatami Kakezo! Mine! Oh! Makosita! ま、私の番だね。クリア。まだ気は抜けないね。行こっか。中世の遺跡っぽいギミックだね。ええ、水の力を使ってるんでしょうか。あ、that oh, 
ちらの先生押し切ろうマイル行こっかはいっこれで一安心ですねこんな場所までわざわざ入り込んでくるとはな、yep. この声ユースよかったご無事でしたか<笑>無事に決まっているだろうまさか屋敷に戻るなり行動の自由を奪われるとは思わなかったがそうかどんな状況か大体知ってるみたいだねああ革新派を牽制するために帝都知事の息子に濡れ衣を着せて拘束するまさかそこまで露骨なことを父が企てるとはな結局俺と話すつもりなど父には最初からなかったわけだユーシスさんまあ俺のことはいいこの地下水道の構造は兄から聞いて大体把握している両方軍の詰め所まで先導するからとっとと行くぞユーシス<笑>一人でマキアスさんのこと助けに行こうとしてたんですね先月の実習とは大違い<笑>父のやり方に納得いかなかっただけだそれに今頃やつも心細くてベソをかいているに違いないそれを目撃できるだけでも助けてやる価値はあるだろう in the end ユース still has to be useless even, even when he's being nice <笑>やれやれよしそれじゃあ先に進むかユースス rejoined the group How u s e l e s s strength is is not that far behind these. He's despite the uh, Liu Hou Gun's Tsume Shou is east. To any case, let's go. Oh yeah, remember that chest I couldn't get to earlier? It's right here.
勝機ですねまいったあ、任せてっ戦闘終了先に行こっかですね、やっぱり胸が大きいと登りにくい<笑>フィーちゃん<笑>フィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィーちゃんフィー任せて行くよ俺の番だなさあ任せて,せて,せて俺の番だな戦闘終了先に進もう終了。先に行こっか。扉か近くの仕掛けで開くはずだ探してみるぞ。させてもらうぞ。終了。先に行こっか。
お宝見っけ。やっぱり胸がフィーそのくらいにしなさい<笑>まったく It's gotta be the chest. <笑> a, a door? Looks to be made of iron, but there's no keyhole. I guess it can only be opened from the other side. Could this be the path that leads to the guardhouse? It is indeed. This path connects the waterway with the building's lower levels. I had no idea the door between the two areas could only be opened from the inside of them. How are we supposed to get through? You can't pick the lock if there's no keyhole. Looks too sturdy for my sword or to have much effect either. Oh no, it's B. B has a plan. Fee? Fee, Chan? Sagatite. Nanda? I know the smell. Eh? Oi. Ignition. Bam. So much for subtlety. Umaku itta. Umaku itta te. Fee-chan.今の爆発物か携帯用の高性能爆薬火蘇性もあるから、こういった工作には便利ば、爆薬どこでそんなものをフィこの際だから、教えてくれるか君は一体、何者なんだリ、リンさんお前ば、入学式の日も君は一人だけ床のトラップを回避していたようにも見えた。俺たちよりも2歳年下なのに身体能力では引けを取らない。そして戦闘力に至っては生物らしてるんじゃないか。何？まあいいか。時間学院に入
その声はマキアスさん<笑>無事だったかたち一体どうしてここにこの状況で両方軍の連中が僕を解放するわけがままさか忍び込んできたのかああバリアハートの地下水道を通ってねとりあえず開くね一体何をまあ、今のについては後ほどゆっくりと時間がないとにかく脱出しようこの場をしのげればなんとかごまかせるはずだわ分かったありがとうしばらく出られないと覚悟していたところだったしかしリーンやエマ君たちはともかくのベソを描いた顔を確認しに来ただけだそれと父にこのくらいは一矢報いようと思ってなそうかおいボイスズしまったチッイッツドーデュー巡回ご苦労と言いたいところだがしばしの間を眠っていてもらうぞえ速攻で落とすぞラジャはいまとめて相手をしてやる俺の番だなタッ<笑>私の番だな<笑>いいだろうアークス駆動行きますしかし油断しなければこんな事態にはあの場合は仕方ないさ。とにかく無事でよかったです
There are two of them, and they're big. And fast. Hurry. Right. God, this is the worst day ever. ちらも遠慮なく撃破するだけ。ああ。せいぜい引きつけてやる。特別実習の総仕上げだ。士官学院七組 They're not going to be taking much damage from me. せっかく。リロード。逃がしはしない。あ、任せて。崩れた。しっかり。今の悪くなかったかも。ああ、うまく合わせられたな。なんとか倒せたか。かなりの手応えだったね。さ、さすがにもうダメかと思ったぞ。たかが獣ごときに遅れを取ってたまるか。全く笑い事じゃないだろう。そういう貴様こそ何を見やついている君の方こそやれやれ実習の仕上げとしては情状すぎるくらいだなええ戦術リンクも全員で繋げられましたししまった大けている場合ではなかったか
こまでか You push your luck, luck one step too far this time. Are you that desperate to be thrown in a cell with magnets? Ah, scamai te moraoka. Lord Yusus, what are you doing here? I thought you'd been locked in the mansion. Jishu o saikai shita dake da. Sore yori mo, dou suru? Koitsu ra o taiho suru nara ba, ore mo douzai tou koto ni naru ga. We couldn't possibly point our rifles at Lord Eustace. Silence. Not even Lord Eustace has the right to trespass in a military facility, much less to release a suspect in our custody, directly opposing the orders of His Grace the Duke. いい加減にしろ。それが合わないとはいえ、同じクラスで学ぶ仲間。そのものがあらぬ容疑をかけられ、清掃の道具に使われるなど。このユーシスアルバレア、見過ごせるとでも思ったか。ボディユーシス。ユーシス。You have our orders, and nothing you say will change that. The s o m the men, you l o d use us included. その必要はなかろう。わ、この子よ。ロルフス。ロルフス。We heard you were in the capital. あ、ニュエ。どうして。士官学院の方から昼過ぎに連絡が入ってねそれで急遽飛行艇でこちらに戻ってきたわけだ君たちの教官殿と共に<笑>はいお疲れ様だったみたいねサラ教官どうしてここに事情は一通り聞かせてもらったここは私が引き取るゆえケイラは戻るがいい父には話を通しておいたこの上私に余計な恥をかかせるつもりか of course not second company withdraw sir please excuse us Time to get out of here. Oh, no, no, you guys need to get this name. Ma, Leo Hogan, Mohi, no, Kunlen, or Keshte, or Kotat, the Nai, Karane. Conkai, no, 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 どうして教官もここにさすがにタイミング良すぎかも両方軍の連絡が来てからこちらに向かったんですかいやー実はとある筋から早めに連絡をもらってね急いで帝都にいた理事さんに連絡を取ったのよそれでとからの飛行艇に一緒に乗せてもらったってわけなんとまあまったく用意周到なえリシーとおっしゃいましたか We just realized that that um Rufus is part of the board of directors for Thor's Thor's Academy おお君たちにはまだ教えてなかったっけ改めて士官学院の常任理事を務めるルーファス・アルバレアだ今後ともよろしく願おうかじょ常任理事そそんな話俺も初耳ですよ
そなたの驚く顔が見られると思って黙っていた quite the なあちなみに常任理事は私一人ではないあくまで三人いるうちの一人というだけだ通りで俺たち七組についても詳しかったんですね用意周到すぎいやしかしまさか私の留守中にあんな無茶を父が押し通すとは思わなかった相当かたくなではあったが今回ばかりは引いてもらったよ like, when you meet, meet Rufus in this capacity it's hard, it, it's hard to think that, that、um, he's gonna become such a villain 理事として生徒への不当な拘束は断じて認められないからな At least I, had, I didn't, especially during my first playthrough, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't notice any of the signs that he could possibly be a villain. Oh, new. Go high, yo. Can't shut us. And thus ended the second field study. As the hour was late, they returned to the hotel in Berea Hard for good night's sleep, exhausted from, from the day's events. The next morning, we and the other, other members of Group A bade farewell to the city and set off for Sarah. So that's class 7A.、Eh? A little rough around the edges, but they managed to get through in one piece. I think I see、uh, why you're so fixated on them, Sarah. And Rufus、uh, Albarea.、Uh, I've heard people say he's the sharpest noble of the bunch, but still. What business could he possibly have over by the canyon so early in, in the morning? Is that what you w a n t to go about to ask? Oh, it's Blue Block. Who are you? <laughs> Pay me no mind. I am but a low ranking noble. I've been watching over those young students to see what they're capable of, much like yourself. Really, now? You'll forgive me for asking, but you look awfully like someone a couple of acquaintances mentioned, mentioned to me a long time ago. You wouldn't happen to be some fancy sound and stage name. You wouldn't happen to have some fancy sound and stage name or anything, would you? <laughs> You'll just have to find out on your own. Your acquaintances wouldn't be a certain innocent couple from a foreign land, though, would they? Speaking of, referring to, uh, Uh, Estelle and Joshua. <laughs> you just have to find that out on your own. Indeed. Well, if you please excuse me, it's almost time for the airship to depart, and I really must be getting back to Heimdall. May we meet again, young Bracer. Do give my regards to the perfect lightning if you would. <sighs> As if the situation weren't messy enough, he seems to got got another source of trouble on our hands now. I better let the others know just in case. In the form of some snakes. Yare, <sighs> yare. <sighs> 若いのにだらしないわね
一晩ちゃんと寝てるんだからもっとシャキッとしなさい無茶言わないでくださいよさすがに今回はいろいろとありすぎましたからまそうみたいね B 班の方もいろいろあったそうだけどそこまで深刻じゃなかったみたいだし問題の質は同じみたいだけど問題の質が同じまさか革新派と貴族派の B 班が向かったセントアークも次第名門の本拠地の一つ、yep. The Cayenne family. ちょっとしたごたごたにやっぱり巻き込まれたらしいわまあ4人で協力してなんとか切り抜けたそうだけどそうですかちょっと安心しましたでもサラ正直オーロックストリーではシャレになってなかったけどええそうみたいねそして両方軍だけじゃなくて正規軍も軍備を拡張してるわ言うまでもなく革新派鉄血最小が掌握している20もの気候手段を中心にねそれは<笑>士官学院は私たちはどう振る舞えばいいんでしょう確か正規軍にも両方軍にも卒業生は言っていますよねまあそこら辺は今は気にする必要ないわ君たちはまだ学ぶ立場にある今回みたいに厄介で面倒な現実を少しずつ知りながらそれでも今しか得られない何かをつかむことができるはずよかけがえのない仲間と一緒ならねあそれは社会に出たら何の意味もない儚いものかもしれないけどどこかできっと君たちの血肉となり大切な財産となってくれると思う少なくとも私はそう信じてるサラ教官<笑><笑>ちょっとツボに来たやれやれ何を言い出すかと思えばちょちょっとなんでそのタイミングでみんなして爆笑するのよすすみませんおっしゃってることはすごく感銘を受けたんですけどいつもの教官とのギャップがありすぎてちょっと臭すぎ今しか得られない何かそしてかけがえのない仲間と一緒ならかちょやめたまえ僕をもだえ苦しませるつもりか<笑>あもうせっかくいいこと言ったのにあんたたち思った以上に一筋縄じゃいかないわねここでの仕事は終わりだよ行こっか
That's the end of chapter two. Now we'll rank B3. <laughs> Get the medal of discipline. Another perfect score. And it's time to continue on to chapter three. Lokugat Jujun Wakaba no Kisetsu Sugita Torista Deva Mezrasku. ながみが続いていた。各地で実習を終えた俺たち7組メンバーは通常の授業に戻っていた。目の回るほど忙しい日々。ついていくのでやっとの授業にようやく慣れてきた頃かねてより告知されていたイベントが俺たち全員を待ち受けていたyes the dread of of a lot of students さて前から予告した通り明日から中間試験になるわ the dread of midterms ま基本は座学のテストだから、私には何の力にもなれないけど。一応試験官として温かく見守るから、せいぜい頑張ってちょうだい。Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. 私たちの成績が悪かったら、教頭に嫌味を言われるんじゃ。このクラスには結構成績優秀者が多いしねせいぜい結果を楽しみにさせてもらうわ。The only ones you have to worry about is Fee and Fee Reed and Elliot. Those are the ones that you th you probably expect to have the iffy grades, eight, and everyone else is, will be. Will be at least above average or higher. So, so, scan get can help you. I see no see you. Be your cousin, but no so go do him or cage. Bunny, how did I say to cut up? You to the no, Joe, it's men look so.今度こそは絵馬くんに勝たなくては。マキエスビンコペティブ。それともう一つ。クラスごとの平均点なんかも発表されたりするのよね。クラスごとの平均点。クラス同士の対抗心に火をつけるのは狙いか。うん。それはそ
I need to review math anyway. I'm not sure how much time I'll be able to spare though. You mean it? It'd be a huge help. My biggest weak spot is Elbonian history, I guess. I doubt that comes as a huge surprise to anyone. I think I understand all the material we've gone over in cl directly in class, but there are some finer points. I can aid you with that if you like. Though so in return, I appreciate the first pair of eyes is to help revise my military science essay. It'd be my pleasure. Would you like to say with me, B? I guess so. Would you two mind if I jumped in too? I could use a little refresher on my classics. Of course, you're more than welcome. Would you like to join us, Laura? No, I... I appreciate your invitation, but I'll have to pass this time. There's a subject I need to review in Prague. I'll see you all later. Huh? What's up with her? Hmm... Maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but I could've sworn I saw her looking over at feet. Hey, me? Eh? What is it? You headed back to the dorms? You're totally welcome to come study with us if you want. Hmm. What's the plan on him straight back? I might come enjoy you guys a bit later. Alright then. Perhaps we'll see you later. The day before the exam is a free day. Talking to certain characters will allow you to study with them. When you run out of bonding points, the time of day will change to evening and the main story will advance. Oh yep, everyone talking to all of those um, of mandatory events. You got six. You got six study points. I, I think they're done in pairs, though. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. No. Okay, so. We got other people that we could talk to too, because we we got a whole we got a whole list of people that we need to talk to, who, who in order to um, increase Rain's knowledge, which is what we need for in order to ace well to do well in the exam, which in turn will give us bonus uh, AP. So I'm gonna do this in order from what the guide says. As yeah, we're gonna ignore those two for now. But over here, there's a new book here uh, for those that's playing this for the first time. And then up here. Yeah, you have, uh, you gotta talk to Thomas over there. And over here is Celine. Which, if you, if you make sure... You have to make sure you bought a, you have at least a, a, a thing of uh, fresh milk on you when you talk to her. How did that cat manage to get in here? <laughs> I guess it must have been looking for something that, for someone to get out of the rain. Actually, I have some fresh milk on me. Should I give her some? Yep. We gave her fresh milk. <laughs> it 
She seems so happy. Maybe I'll bring her some more another time. But now, good. Go here and talk to Thomas. Oh, hello there. Did you come along to view some of what we covered in class? Actually, I was just passing by. <laughs> oh, come on, come now. There's no need to be shy. When it not not when it comes to history. Let's get started, shall we? Why don't we go over every little thing that might possibly come up on your exam? Hmm. This sounds like it could be helpful. Oh, if I can actually stay awake. Increase your knowledge of available in history. This was some upon an interesting book while, while he was re returning his teaching materials. This entire the truth behind seeing Sandlot and way weighs in at a and weighs in at a whopping 380 pages. <laughs> we can't join me for enjoyable week. Well, gee, I'd love to, but I'm I'm so busy with studying. I really must be off now. Sorry. Ironically, in a couple games, Reen will will be take will be doing Thomas's job, which is kind of amusing. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Then you also gotta. Yeah. Uh, oh, a book on horse riding. It's not what I should be reading right now. I've got to study for my exams, not about horses. Can't wait to show those upper class, upper class, class students up. Here it is. A book entitled Political Economics, a Primer, uh, says Primer, prim, primarily on the shelf. Given the subject matter, this book seems really accessible. This will probably make for a good refresher. Increase your knowledge of poli political economics. Okay, next, go to gymnasium. There you are. Over here, a book entitled Military Science Star Primer uh, sits upon the bench like a courageous, courageous commander. This one's well written, and the il illustrations really bring things to life, too. Wait a second. This probably belongs to someone. Nobody will leave a book like this behind, so I'm sure they'll be back soon. I'll just leave this here. Increase your knowledge of military science. And then we're gonna exit for them. It's kinda cool that they they decided to give a um give Rena a model of holding an umbrella during rain. Instead of just having them run in the rain. Becky! Sh shut it, Hugo. I know I, I'm no taking any advice for, for ye. I can memorize everything in one go the night before. Becky, Becky, Becky. You won't be able to remember anything that way. The trick to memorization is to study up just before you go to bed. When you wake up, you review everything one, once more to seal the deal. It's easy, it's efficient, and best of all, it works. I can't tell you. You should try it too, Rita. 
as well give it a shot. Thanks. You learned an efficient new memorization method. I'm working today as well. I just need a, 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 a wee bit of cramming before I, the day before, and I'll be sorted. The last thing I'm doing is taking advice from from Hugo. Yep, and that's the same thing. Okay. Hey, Monica. Our midterms are really closing in. But I'm more afraid of the exam period being over than the exams themselves. When it's all over, I have to start going to swim, swim club practice again. Hmm? Never mind, please just ignore me. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasant, pleasant company right here. These will be your very first midterms, won't they? <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a little nervous too. This is the first time I've come up with questions for them. You should be fine as long as you study up on everything we covered in class. Don't be afraid to ask questions either. Might as well ask. There were a couple of art history things I need to clear, need to clear it up anyway, actually. Oh my, a student is really relying on me for help? What pleasant supplies? Art involved in very complex ways in the Middle Ages, you see. Your knowledge of art. I know that this is the first examination period for you first years, but try not to let it get to you. Your studies here are merely meant to shape your, fu shape your future and provide you with unforeseen possibilities, no pressure. As, as tough as the exams might seem, just put your all into them and everything should work out in the end. Feel free to pop in if you have any other questions. I'll do everything I can to help you resolve whatever issues you may have. Such is my duty as an instructor, after all. Makarov! You probably know this already, but the faculty lodge is off limits while exams are going on. If you want to see a teacher, you've got to knock on the door and ask. <sighs> you got something you want to ask me? Yes. I've actually got an orbital science question to ask you. Big ears. Show me what's got you stumped and I'll get you up to speed. Increase your knowledge of orbital science. Short and to the point. Oh, yep. Hey, hey, look, it's... It's Vincent, trying to hit up more ladies. It strains his credulity to imagine that anyone will forget the umbrella during such an extended period of rain. Master Vincent has always been one to defy expectations, however. Why don't I escort you home, Mademoiselle? You can show along safety tucked under the same umbrella as the rain jars perform their emotional, emotional percussive concert. I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline your clearly selfless offer. Because I'll be studying for our midterms right here. I might think about it if you manage to score better than me on these midterms. You always seem to be just below me. It's good as always, I see. I must ask, Mademoiselle. Oh, uh, would it not break your heart to see me share an umbrella with another fine lady? My heart would be fine. In fact, it'd feel better if you did. Oh, Vincent. Your fate is already sealed. Over here. Oh, yeah, you. Studying for exams? Ha! Surely you jest. Excellent greetings come naturally to me. He does no need for something as common as studying. That's just the nature of nobility, after all. You have gifts that mere commoners can't fathom. But you've got pencil marks all over your hands. 
your imagination is playing tricks on you. If you let it, let it lead you any further, you might imply I've been studying in secret just to show Al Alicia up. Everyone's so observing and studying for their midterms. I don't think anyone would call my grades amazing, so maybe I should start doing the same. If my parents' threats are to be believed, the fate of my allowance depends on it. Um, Alan, are you sure you don't want to study with Bridget? I mean, she definitely went out of her way to ask you and, and, and everything. I don't need her help. Let's hurry up and get back to, uh, to the dorm so we don't get soaked. Sure. I'm not asking Bridget for help. I can study for midterms on my own and just fine, thanks. What's up? What's with Alan? That Bridget girl seems pretty close to him for a noble. Yep. It's like, the more I think about it, it's like, it's kind of interesting the fact that, like, at this point in the game, you never imagine where the, where, where they end up in terms of, like, like, three and, in Cold Steel 3 and 4. Rom romantically speaking. Oh, it's Mint and, uh... The, uh, Fencing Girl, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, it's Bridget. The music room is actually a great place to study during the test period. It's so quiet. I invited Alan to along to study with me, but he turned me down. Maybe he really is trying to avoid me. You might not have noticed, but I'm an horrible science whiz. My dad's a Vinefoot employee, and he always used to help me study. I can't say I'm feeling pretty good about these exams. I can't wait to get a perfect score and surprise Uncle Makarov. Help you study? Er, uh, sorry, I can't teach to save my life. Yeah, surprisingly enough. Surprisingly enough, she's actually good with 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 uh with with, with, with all things horrible. You find that out in Cold Steel 3. Three. A book entitled The Fanciest Guide to Elbonian Opera and Paintings sits promptly upon the shelf. Why would one book cover such different topics? Still, it'll probably cover some of the stuff on our exams. Wouldn't have to give it a read. Increase your knowledge of art. Okay. To the roof. Hey, Beryl. Beryl. Oh, why are you out here in the rain? <laughs> I love the rain. And let me and let me let you in on a little secret. I don't even need to study thanks to a special little trick of mine. <laughs> Page 44 will be on our, our Orbital Science exam. This is certain. This is fate. Hmm. You're just making things up now. But what if she does have some sort of special powers? I mean, it couldn't hurt to study that page, just in case. Increase your knowledge of Orbital Science. To the Student Union. It's the twins. Studying is so boring. But reading here might make things interesting. In fact, I've got a great idea. Why don't we have a little Q&A competition? Every time someone gets a question wrong, they have to take off an article of clothing. I mean... I mean, sure, if it was that type of game, but it's not that type of game, so it ain't happening. S -s Seriously? I I'm not doing that. Never in a million years. Oh, okay. Guess we won't be studying at all then. But that's not what I meant. 
As long as everyone keeps their clothes on, I'm fine with helping you two study. It'd probably help me too. Study material that might be on the exam. Come on, Vivi, at least pretend to take this seriously. I know that you're not exactly the shy star of the education system. It's fine, it's fine. Because you're such a good sister, you switch places with me during the exam. Says who? I'm pretty excited for our results to get posted. Are you though? Are you? Man, all the cute girls keep chasing me off since they don't want to be bothered while they're studying. What's the point of being on edge this late in the game? You either know something or you don't. Cramming now is a waste of time. Says you. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep cramming. And then by that I mean I'm gonna go in here and and take a look at this book. A book entitled Elbonia History and Pictures is it's on the shelf. What is this? It's more like a comic book than a traditional textbook. It does see, seem historically accurate though. Can't have to give it a read. Increase your knowledge of Elbonia history. Feeling confident about these midterms, Dorothy? Hehe, <laughs> I never had a problem with classical studies or literature. In fact, I'm very excited for classical studies. Let my fantasies take over as I study wor work as I study works wonders, for instance. How could I ever forget the star across nights whose whose love hate relationship took a tragic turn when they met in combat? <laughs> hey, you're getting all starry eyed. Okay. Uh. Okay, so, now that I got all that out of the way, before I continue on, I need to step out for a moment real quick. I'll be right back and then we'll, we'll uh, go spend some time with people. So I'll see you when I get back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the wait there. Let's see. 
Oh no no no! I'm oh yeah. Toa is the the sex one. Yeah, Toa is the sex one. One two. Yeah, one two three four five six. Actually, before we do all that, let's go talk to Sarah. Oh, it's Shukta. Were you checking out the old schoolhouse? Yep. Just a quick peek inside, though. You'll be, you'll be pleased to know that there don't seem to have been any major changes since last month, though. I'm totally fine with that. At least that means we could just focus on studying for our midterms, then. I really would like to know what's going on with this building, though. I love a good mystery, too, but try not to focus too much on too much right now. The last thing I need is the vice principal breathing down my neck because you didn't do well in your midterms. Chances are they might even stop the investigations to make you guys focus more on your studies. Yeah, then I'd never find out what's going on with the old schoolhouse. Guess I better get back to studying. Hey, <laughs> attaboy, hit those books! Okay, so... If there's anyone in the chat... Chad, I... 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 <laughs> I was, let me do, let me do that again. If there's anyone in the chat that would like to see a specific a specific event first, uh, feel free to to chime up. Otherwise, I'll probably do it. I'm probably just do it in either through Rolling a Six Sided Die or just actually I'll do a Six Sided Die because since I can see them all anyway, it's more about choosing w which order I'm going to do it in. Since I have enough 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 points to see them all. So like I said, if you if anybody anybody in chat has a specific one they want to see first, feel free to pipe up. We got in the gymnasium we got got Elisa and Laura. Uh you got Crow in the engineering building. And uh, then there's V and, and Emma in, in a group by themselves, and then Toa up on t up in the um, student council office. And Marcus and Marcus and Elliot in the library, followed by a Eusis and and Gaius is on the second floor floor of the school. I guess random die it is. One, two, five. Okay, there we go. I do it in an hour. And let's see who the first one is. Three. So it's it's uh, M and Fee is the first one. Are the two of you going over Albonian history? I can't memorize things like this. Because it's all pointless. Fee, that's a little harsh. Oh, I know. Why don't you join us, Rain? I'm sure it makes study more enjoyable for Fee, too. Study with Emma and Fee? This will consume a study point. Sounds like a good idea to me. The exam's going to be focused on the War of the Lions, right? That's right, shall we start from the beginning then?
After that, Draco scattered soldiers in the North Highlands, and in the year 952 of the Septian calendar, he liberated the capital, bringing the war to an end. Excellent, well done, Fee. I guess it's stuck. <laughs> Incidentally, the war came to an end in, the, in July of that year, which is next month, so that's easy to remember. They say it was rain, raining in Heimdall that day. But legend has it that the moment Emperor Draco stepped into the city, the rain stopped. Huh, that's neat. Yeah, that seems like a story that was sticking in my memory. <laughs> You're a pretty good teacher, aren't you? Well, I'm always using tricks like these to help me remember things. If you're having fun while you study, it makes it that much easier for the material to stick in your memory. Interesting, so that's your method. Well, if you can do it, we can do it too. Oh, well, shall we finish this, this, study, this stuff off then? Please. Stayed with Emma and Fee for a while longer, making sure, making sure they knew their elbowing history back and front. Back to front. And buns. <laughs> that seems to have been a rewarding set of studies for me. Thank you, Rain Apple. I hope we both do well in the exams. I can't really memorize this kind of stuff. Remember where I, pl I planned explosives and stuff is easy, though. Sorry to say, I don't think that's going to show up on, my, on our midterms. Uh, I don't think... I don't think memor memorizing where you plant bombs is, go is a mi is a midterm uh, topic. Okay, time for the next roll. And if it gets on, if it lands on three, it'll be a re-roll. So we're just gonna keep it simple. Five, so one, two. Okay, turn back to the library. Oh, so this is where you are. Wow, you guys, when you guys study, you two don't mess around. <laughs> well, no better motivator than fear, right? Hey, the exams start tomorrow and we've got to know our orbital signs. I want to make sure I study as much as, po as I possibly can before then. There's no such thing as too prepared. Besides, this is our last chance to get a full day of studying in. How about me? Up for one last marathon study session? Yep. Sure, I'll join you guys for a while. Mobile science isn't quite my forte anyway. In that case, let's get started with the basics. Sounds good to me. So, orbital energy is gathered by septium, right? It's generated by septium. And it differs from other types of energy in that it replenishes itself, itself over time. It's hard to imagine what life would be like without it. I mean, you got to catch a glimpse of that at, during um, Sky SC for, 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 for our chapter. Over energy is in everything. Lighting, railways, telephone, telephones, battle ornaments. That segues nicely into our next topic. Let's talk battle ornaments. The first key feature is their portability. The second is their ability to synchronize with their user, allowing them to easily use orbital arts. Magic for the everyman. Feature 3 is their flexibility. A battle woman's capabilities can change dramatically based on the force within. <laughs> that summary wouldn't have been more perfect if we read it out of the textbook. That's our Machias. Can't believe you could read off all, all that without even stopping to think. But if you already have the basics down, are you just trying to help me instead of focus on what you really need to study? No, it's not that. Besides the information I've learned, it, like this helps helps it stick in, in my memory. <clears throat> it might look flashy, but this is really productive study for me too. Well, everyone needs a method. As I said earlier, it's not possible to be too prepared. And while we still have a lot of ground to cover on in our orbital science review. I would appreciate if you would help me study a few others while we're, when we're done. <laughs> of course. 
I'd be happy to. Really? Well, thanks. Me, Marcus, and Elliot continue their orbital science studies and feel much more confident about the exam every minute. Um, strengthen bonds, strengthen bonds. Thanks for helping us study, Bean. Hopefully we'll both do well in our midterms. We've gotten to the point as a society where ornaments are pretty much an essential part of our daily lives. It can't hurt to have a firm grasp on all their uses and applications. Okay, so now we're down to four. Four left. If I get a three or five, it's a reroll. Oh, nope, it's six. So that means these two. Two of you studying military science? Looks like you guys are tearing through things too. <laughs> More or less. You cut us just as we reach the section on military symbols. Care to join us? Sure, couldn't hurt. I didn't know a thing about military science until we entered the academy, so I'm not feeling terribly confident. Though most schools teach military menu 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 tie a uh, alongside literature and math, we're on the same boat here. Either way, we'd be happy to have another person to paddle. Oh, have a seat. Then let's begin. Map marking symbols are used to represent an assortment of, of different units and formations. This is the symbol for infantry. Yep, the X. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, a then there's before I move on, move on because I remember some of this because I used to play the, some old war game uh, board games like war-based war games aims, uh, aims when I was a kid. For example, like Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, Stalingrad, stuff like that. And they used, and the icons are, it's like, this is an example of some of the pieces that they, that the game, the game used. And if I remember correctly, tanks are an oval symbol. And then the uh, motorized units are the oval unit, the, the oval unit circle with an X, if I remember correctly, for mo like mobilized infantry. We charge you the symbol for headquarters from memory. Uh, I don't remember that one. Gotcha, I'm pretty good, sure it's this. Guys, right, so think you could draw a symbol for a normal troop? Should be, this should be it. Yep, there's the oval. That's easy for like, like tank division, for tank divisions. Now I have a tough one for you. What does this symbol mean? Hmm. That's engineer, right? Yep. Yep, engineer. Phew, there's so much to memorize for this class, and the fact that we'll be going in blind makes it even worse. These seem like they're all basics too. Given that all of us were not all of us will end up involved in the military with the military, it does seem a little excessive. But bear in mind that our military science class is to teach us how to deal with harsh situations efficiently. In that sense, there's plenty to learn even if we never find ourselves on a battlefield. Probably why it's mandatory. It could save our lives. We owe it to ourselves to, to ourselves to do well. <laughs> Agreed.
Guy, useless guy is a mean stay together for a while longer. Continue to test each other on military science. Like seeing those symbols really makes me nostalgia, most nostalgic for, for play, for playing like old, uh, old war games. As students here, military science is one subject we can't avoid. Make sure to review the subject thoroughly. This seems like a topic that's likely to come up. I'm not that familiar with it either. Uh, so I think it's a good idea to study up on it more. Okay, so now we are down to three. So now each one, each of the remaining three now has two number. It gets two numbers. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize this guy was... We had a match get together for class chess club just before the exam started. And you know what? We won! All thanks to Machias. He was every bit as good as I expected him to be. Ah, good for you. I mean, how goes the studying? <laughs> I suppose it's probably fine. But these are going to be my first midterms ever, so I'm more than a little nervous. Ah, first years, how innocent. It doesn't help, help that military academies have a lot of subjects other schools don't, don't, but you'll get used to it. That's true. Combat studies and military science thing, too. Oh, and you're going to want to make sure that you're ready for the politi political economics exam, too. Why is that? Well, it's it's mustache man subject. That's not very nice. A very nice thing to say. Call very nice thing to call Vice Principal Heinrich Angie. He does seem like the type to write a ridiculously hard exam. Oh, I know. How about I give you a hand study for it if you're free, at least. Are you sure? Of course, you're always helping me out, right? <laughs> Political economics is Toa's strongest subject. You wouldn't want to pass this up. Yep. Well, if you're offering, I'd really appreciate it. I sure am. Let's get started then. The Sweden Toa's study session began with, with um, Angelica hovering over. <laughs> Most of the stuff I was unsure about makes a lot, a lot more sense now. <laughs> that's good to hear. Hmm, we should probably go over some current affairs too. For an exam? Yeah, the vice principal has a habit of putting questions based on recent news into an exam. This year, hmm, maybe we should go over some recent, recently enacted laws. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of thing he put in there. Just so most people could be caught off guard, get it wrong, and get lectured for, at, get lectured at for being indifferent about society. I'd rather avoid that. Recent laws, recent laws, recent laws. The Financial Transaction Act from last year is one of the best, best, best known, I suppose. It requires you to inform prospective buyers of the risk, risk when selling the, them when selling them stocks or securities. A number of people have suffered massive losses buying shares lately, so it was, it was passed to keep people informed. Hmm, so that's the history behind the Financial Transaction Act. Then there's the Imp Imperial Transportation Act, which determines the, the rules of the road for drivers. That was last year too. There are more and more people buying cars lately, nobles and commoners, but car accidents were getting out of hand. And that was especially true in Heimdall, which is why the law was enacted there first. 
I'll have to try and remember that. And then there's the, 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 the and then there's the provisional provisional taxation act, which impacted just about every province you could think of. In other words, a fancy name for the much the much reviled tax increases. They're being enacted in the provinces almost doubling land and business taxes. You probably at least heard about them. I have, yeah. It's, it seemed like a pretty major topic back in Kelton. If he's going to set a question about re a recent law, it's probably going to be about one of these three. Hopefully that'll be of some help, help at least. Even if none of them come up, you really help me out. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. Thank you. Thank you both for all your help. <laughs> I didn't do anything at all. I'm just hanging out. If there's anything else you want to know, let me know and I'll be happy to help. Help. I mean help. Thanks, I will. I'm curious to see how the test, the test will treat you. Just make use of everything and everything you've learned and you should be fine. Good luck in your midterms. I'll be wishing you, you the best. Remember, look over your notes early and often. You don't want to get flustered on, on the exam and forget everything and fail. Okay, all that's left is, is two. Crow and... You know what? Uh, actually, let's just find out. Now it's down to odds and evens. Okay, throw it is. Oh, Crow and George. Hey there, Reem, what's up? Hold on, let me guess. You were studying away nice and diligently when your orbital lamps are you right now. Swing and a miss. You team seem, seem pretty, pretty relaxed despite how close midterms are getting. Who do you think you're talking to? I know better than anyone that it's pointless to start studying this late in the game. How's that working out for you? Crow's actually pretty good when it comes to the practical stuff. Survival skills, first aid, and all those kinds of things. Really? See? All the stuff you don't need to study, to study for. But if you're, really, if you're feeling shaky about any of it, I'd be happy to teach you a thing or two. Sure, I'll take you up on that. Wait, you serious? The idea of Crow teaching anyone anything is a little unnerving. Were you just joking? Nah, it's cool. Might as well show you the ropes. Cool if we borrow a chair too, George? Go for it. And so Crow passed along all of his knowledge on to Rain. The very little of it. That's about sums, sums up what they'll be te te testing you first years on. You should probably make sure you've got, got CPR down too. I do actually need to brush up on that. Do you think it will come up? It's only one of, one of the most basic things anyone would expect to have a Thor student, so it won't hurt to know. Right, here's how it goes. If you find someone who's class, first up it is checking whether or not they are conscious. If they're unconscious, it's safe to assume that they're in trouble. Next, you're going to want to shout for help. You're not going to want to try and handle this on your own, got it? people you have helping you out, the better their chances are to survive. That makes sense. Next up is making sure they're breathing. If they aren't, or something's weird uh, about the way they are, it's CPR time. This basically involves giving them a repeated combination of chest compressions and, and rescue breaths. You need to keep this up until their pulse and breathing return, got it? Don't, don't give up until the end. Understood. He, doesn't, he does seem like the kind of person I could count on in a jam. Yeah. I guess George was right about him being good at practical stuff. I do is put that into practice. If you see a girl in need, you better get it right. You better get right in there. When she wakes up and see you saved her life, 
instant fireworks. Your hands and lips are in the right spots already. Every time I think anything positive about you, you go and say something like that. Oh well, this was useful though. Thanks for taking the time to teach me. Good luck, my son. Go out there and get some get some good grades for me. <laughs> When did I become your son? That should be enough to cover you for now. <laughs> Maybe I should get you to treat me to something nice if you do well. He might not. He might not like. Uh, he might not act like it. Uh, but Crow's actually really smart. It's kind of a shame that he skips class class all the time. He'd probably do well if he didn't. And this is when Mobius becomes available. Oh, for Master Quartz. Let's Nothing new here yet. Okay, last but not least is these two. Oh, are you two studying? Elisa probably met up with Laura because she was worried about it. Yeah, we both figured we had a lot of art, art to brush up on. It's probably not our most important subject in the grand scheme of things, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I've never had to deal with a series of exams right, right in a row like this. Easiness could very well be a tantamount to failure. Would you like to join us, Reen? Study with Elise, Elisa and, and Laura? This will consume a study point, and afterward, the time of day will advance to evening and the main story will proceed. I'd love to. The exam's supposed to be focused on the basic basics of illustration, right? You got it. Let's get started. How about you ask me first question, me? Sure. Okay, first question. Elisa, what is a decit? I think it's a drawing that makes use of a monochrome line and a varying, varying heaviness is to highlight the way a light hits its subject. You think correctly. So, Laura, what exactly is a sketch? A sketch portrays its subject roughly, with very little in the way of detail. I suppose it could be likened to an early first draft of a drawing. That's right, sketches and dozens are basically two sides of the same coin, since both were used to start a painting. The big difference is that dozens usually take some time to finish, whereas sketches are pretty quick. But there's a method that's even quicker and more basic than sketching. Any ideas, Laura? Mm. I don't know how to pronounce that. That would be Koki? Koke? Koki? Koki? Or Koke? I believe. You two know your stuff, but maybe that just means we should be using harder questions to study with. Let me see if I can find some. Hey, Bean, if you want, I can ask, ask the next set of questions. It's totally effective studying if you don't get to answer any, or any questions yourself. It's okay, don't worry about it. Just give me a minute here and I'll find you a really good one. 
of you exist. <laughs> Maybe you should have expected this. He really is a, a kind-hearted person. And so the three continue their art study session. Oh, it's already time to head home. I didn't even realize because of the rain. I guess we should get ready to head back to the dorms. Moshi. Lovely voice. Oh, it's Sean. お呼び止めして申し訳ありません。こちらの学院の学院長室はその建物でよろしいでしょうか。Oh, yeah, you're in the right place. This office is at least wing first floor. The receptionist might ha have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you like. <笑>ありがとうございます。ですが、そこまでお手を忘れ忘れるわけにはまいりません。That's Wait a minute. How does she know who I am? Ara? Me? Hi there, Lisa. Heading back to the dorms? Eh. Emma tachi wa mada nokotte benkyou shite iku mitai da kedo. Watashi no hou wa ryou ni modotte ashita ni sonaeru koto ni suru wa. Bye, bye. Um, well, you're going my way, so why don't we say you head back together? So, so, ne? Hey, it's not often the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? Haha, <laughs> well, at least I got something good, good out of the sound for. That's... Is there... It, is there even a filter between you, your brain and your mouth? Nah, no need, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sister's asked me that before too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you all these years. <laughs> anyway, how do you think you did on the exams? I'm not, not sure. I gave it the best I've got. So, I've got, I've got that nagging feeling I could have hit the books a little harder. <laughs> I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Maki scored higher than you, right? You just came a little higher than me, too. Back home, I usually came, came in near the top. Uh, but I guess that goes to show that Elboni has no shoulders of smart people. No doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the, the Empire. You said you're from Ro or right? A coming coming out, out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. Um aren't you curious about, you know, my family and stuff? mean the mysterious Alicia R agent of, of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. But you probably have good reason for keeping it on the wrap, so I don't want to pry. It's not that major or anything. Especially compared to what you and Fee have told us about yourselves. I never really thought, thought my family circumstances were a big deal, though Fee's past sure came as a surprise. No wonder... I wonder now when I look at her, uh, what her life in the Jaeger Corps may, must have been like. It 
seems like Constructor Sarah knows more about our past than we do. Back at the entrance, ex entrance ceremony, I got the impression that they meet and met before. Same. Oh, speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange earlier. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to her just before you called me. You can tell Elise about the woman in the maid uniform. A maid who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you tried to hit on her in town before, is it? Ha! <laughs> As if an upsetting guy like me could pull off, off the Casanova act. Yep. <laughs> Rain, I think you, once again, you oblivi your oblivious uh, main protagonist need to realize is the devastating power of your words. You may not know it, but you always you have the Casanova act on a hundred percent of the time. You just don't know it. It's a passive skill. She seemed a couple years older than us, maybe twenty or so. A maid in her early twenties. Hmm, something wrong? No, no, just thinking. There's no way it could really have been her. Mother keeps her far too busy to find the time to come here. Huh? <clears throat> anyway, maybe the upper class storm has a new hire starting out or something. No, that won't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> if only. Yeah. If only. The next day. The first of the four grueling days of midterm exam began. Elbowing in history question. The Middle Age, Ages War of the Lions was brought, brought to an end by Emperor Dracos. When did the war end? June 8, 10 and July 5, 5, 952, August 964, or September 1016. If you remember what, what Emma told us, because it was easy to remember, it's July 952. So, this should be the right answer. Our question. Mr. A wants to draw a rough colored watercolor image. Which of the following styles would be the most appropriate? Got sketch, desin, the thing I can't pronounce, and tracing. The, an the, the correct answer is sketch. This should be the right answer. It turns day two. Nighthawks class. Military science question. Figure one depicts a military formation. What type of unit is currently advancing? Got in, your options are infantry, command, engineer, and armored. The engineer and command are sitting firmly in the back center, and, not, and uh, while the infantry are just chilling, chilling on the flanks. So the answer is armored. This should, should be the right answer. Science question. The following statements about ornaments is all purpose all purport to be true. Which one is not? Abilities change based on quartz. They synchronize with the user, allow arts usage without quartz, orbital energy recovers over time. Obviously this this and this are all true. 
we just went over that with with Machias and Elliot. So the incorrect answer, the correct answer is this one, because you can't you can't use arts if you don't have quartz in it. This should be the right answer. Political economics question. Of the following laws enacted last year, which came to the, into force uh, f into force first in Heimdall? Yeah, your and the options are the Financial Transaction Act, the Provisional Taxation Act, Imperial Public Transportation Act, and the International Criminal Law Act. And the correct answer is the Imperial Public Transportation Act. Studies question. Emergency CPR is divided into roughly four stages. There's A. Check if the person is breathing. B. Check if the person is conscious. C. Perform chest compressions and rescue breaths. D. Call for help, open a loud or voice. Put these stages in the correct order. And the correct order is this one B, D, A, C. So it's check, the, check if the person is conscious. The second is call for help in a loud voice. Is A, check if, the, check if the person's breathing, and then finally C, perform chest compression and rescue breaths. And there you go. That's the midterm quest, the midterm exam. Congratulations on making it through four days of exams. And what do you know? It looks like the rain ended right right along with them. Clearly this is the goddess way of rewarding you all for your hard work. I don't think that reason would stand up to scrutiny. Phew, I'm totally spent. It's over. <laughs> you work really hard, V. Phew. Anyway, today's a free day, so take the chance to unwind and blow off all that that pent up stress exam stress. They'll post the results next Wednesday, so take it easy until then. But don't relax too much because you got your next practical exam next Wednesday afternoon too. <sighs> With all the intensive studying, I completely forgotten about that. You could stand to be a little more considerate with the timing of your announcement. So next Wednesday is when we'll know, know what we're going to going for our next field study. Yep, you'll be shipping out that weekend for another exotic trip. Anyway, make the most of tomorrow, everyone. You've earned at least one day off. Hmm. I guess I should probably attend club practice once in a while. Oh, and one more thing. I've got some business to take care of out of town after after all done here. I won't be back until tomorrow night, so don't like burn down the dorm while I'm gone or anything. Now that the exam's over, I feel free as a bird. And I'll keep on soaring, at least until the results come back. <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well, I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. Just, just stop before you embarrass yourself. 
we'll just have to wait and see what the next next week's results look like. Anyway, what, what do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that, that whole thing about going out of uh, town to meet someone? Going out of town won't be back until tomorrow night. It's almost as if she's going to meet her secret lover. Impossible. The Empire hasn't yet turned out hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. You have a point. I can't deny she's got got the looks of snare man. But with that personality and that lifestyle. Oh, what are you talking about? Sarah's a lovely woman. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Totally agree though. Ouch, not surprised to hear that from you though though, though Rain. She always seems to dump the, the most work on you. Will you be helping out the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after hold, holding up studying for so long. Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Oh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Man, I'm gonna think about where the guys went off to. He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? Oh yeah, I wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten he hasn't gotten in trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. Fee and Laura left early too. I was kind of hoping that we could all walk, walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Yep, but Elisa's not going to be happy about one thing. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but... Do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? Really? So you think so too? Seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Hmm. You see that, but I did not take take either as a type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. You've been trying to suss out what the problem is between them, between them is, is but so far no luck. I wonder if that's what the that was all about. Did you see something, Marcus? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened on the last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used, used an explosive, explosive blast open the door to myself. Yeah. That's when we found out that Fee used to be in the Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop. What does that have to do with law? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. It flashed across her face for only for only a moment, though, so I wonder if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be have to be upset? Can hardly has it a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight lipped about our own family after all. Do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies, I meant no offense. I do have very suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? You... Now, now, getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry, we're not going to twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll, we'll be ready to listen. It's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of anything. It's just, if everyone knew, it would make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Yep. Yep. Time for Sharon to make her, her, her formal appearance.
Oh, hey, it's that maid I ran into the other day. You know her? どうしてあなたがここにま、まさか母様が。はい、会長に申し付けられまして。今日から第三学生寮の管理人を務めさせていただきます。シャンクーガー。はじめまして。シャロンクルーガーと申します。アリサお嬢様のご実家、ラインポルト家の使用人として使いさせていただいております。And she straight up says says her last name. Cuz it's uh, Elisa R stands for Elisa Reinfeld. 皆様のお世話をさせていただきますので、よろしくご指導。Chapter 3 Beyond the Railways Free Day Bacon and eggs, and toast, and tea, and soup. Uh, make me hungry. This Imperial breakfast. style. style. 厨房に慣れていないため間に合わせになってしまって申し訳ありませんがいや謙遜することはない私の実家で出されるより遥かに彩りも豪華なくらいだうん公爵家の料理人にも引けを取らないかもしれないなありがとうございます コーヒー、紅茶ともに揃えていますので遠慮なくおっしゃってくださいねダッツ I get the feeling Lisa is less than impressed with the meal It sounds as if they had a big argument yesterday ちょ、冗談じゃないわ! せっかく実家を離れたのに母様の思い通りになってたまるもんですかまあまあアリサ様会長も別におめつけ役として私を派遣されたのではないと思いますわひとえに愛するお嬢様に日々のご不便がないようにそれが余計なお世話だって言って
お母様のことを気にかけていらっしゃるんですねそれでこそ私が心よりお仕えする大切な方々ですわべ別に気にかけてなんかお嬢様大好物のアプリコットジャムをたくさん作ってきましたわせっかくですからシャロンがトーストにお乗りしましょうかえ本当だ,だから子供扱いしないでってば<笑> moment, she almost fell for and then like oh no no I'm gonna I'm gonna oh no And she's like, oh, wait a minute, I'm an adult. So, no, Jamu, I eat a l o k e d o It's almost h a r d woman to watch. <laughs> Looks like Shannon's got a number. <laughs> At the beginning of the day was Shannon's, Shannon's peerless breakfast. The members of Class 7 left to go about their daily routine. Meanwhile, v e e n went to check t e s t the student council had given him for the day. Student council tasked you. We got the secret. We got the secret of Myra. Vincent. Oh no. What? Why you, Vincent? I'm in need of aid. Some fair maiden has sent me several messages proclaiming her love for me. And who could blame her? I simply must know who she is. So, would some kind soul help me help find her and bring her to me? It's Margaret. That's all you need to know. More details behind the storage building. Born to be Orba. p i n e s t George and Angelica. We're testing the Orba bike's ca capabilities on, on a highway near Trista. If you're curious, come talk to us in the engineering building. And Schoolhouse Mystery 3. This month, I would like, like the members of Class 7 to commit themselves to their noble academic pursuits. Though I know, know studious as you all are, I can expect that anyway. So, on top of that, I'd like you to continue your exploration of the old schoolhouse and report your findings to me, Principal Van Dyke. Hey, I'm a request from Georgia and Angelica. It's about the Orbital Bike, too. I wonder what they need my help with. Looks like I have to swing by the engineering club before I head to the old schoolhouse. Well, this is the first sun I've seen in days, so might as well make the most of it. Alright, l let's do this. Okay, so. We have b o t t o n infants with feet. Laura, m a r c i u s is Elisa, Elliot, and Toa. Oh, and Eusis. Dang, we have so many Bonnet events today. Forgot how, how many pops up in this one. This is gonna be a busy, this is gonna be a busy free day. On top of the、uh, quest, the quest we have too. So, I'm gonna step out real quick. I'll be right back. Eka will continue with more Trails of Cold Steel. Oh, so I'll see you when I get back.
Okay, I am back. So. First things first. Let's see. Just check it out. Okay, that's... Well, let's start with the... With the side quest. Well, do the ones that we can do at, at, that exclude the old schoolhouse. Vincent! Excuse me, is your name Vincent by any chance? Indeed, it is. Standing before you is a nobleman overflowing with love and pathos. It's the one, the only, Vincent Floral. I presume that you are the cupid that I asked the student council to send me. He's quite the character. He really seems to like himself. But that's what I am going to expect from Class 1. I'm no Cupid, but I am here on behalf of the Student Council, yes. <laughs> then you, you may still well serve my purpose. Let me to congratulate you on making your way here. So based on your quest and my new nickname, I assume you want me to find someone for you. Yes, something along those lines. Do you have some t time to spare? If so, I shall begin explaining the particulars of my request. Let's hear it. Please, I'll have on your, on your request. Haha, <laughs> a fine answer indeed. Although, before we continue... You. Arifa is currently nowhere to be seen. Now that I think about it, this is, kind, this is kind of an unusual meeting place. Are you hoping to keep this request quiet? Not exactly. I was merely hoping to avoid things getting metal, metal in. My father sent Sef Sef Sarifa uh, to the academy to keep an eye on me. As you can imagine, her watchfulness can occasionally be rather constraining. Huh. Well, that is apart from the meat of the matter. To be blunt, I have received not one, not two, but three passionate love letters of late, and all from a single writer. Curiously, however, the writer in question signs with not but a non non de plume. Um. Uh, what I would request of you, my fine fellow, is to find out just which lovely lady is responsible for these. That's reasonable, but are you sure it's appropriate for me to try to find her? These are anonymous, after all. Do take a moment to think it over. The fact that she chose to use a pen name rather than and, and remain completely anonymous is proof of a pining, pining hopeful heart. In fact, I am absolutely certain that she will she wishes for me to find her. I suppose I have to trust your judgment on this one. What's more, she sent cookies along with her third love. I would hardly be e e worthy of the floral name if I did not properly thank her, would I? Yeah, I don't think I could stop you at, at this point if I tried. Do you have any additional information that would help me pinpoint exactly who we're looking for? I do indeed. The first hint is that she she is a first year. As a man well versed in the fe feelings of beautiful women, I was able to deduce this from the respectful tone of her letters. Additionally, the fact that she attests a, a pressed grand rose at the end of each letter may serve as a hint as well. A grand rose. Remember correctly, those are the flowers you use when confessing your love to someone, right? Haha, <laughs> quite. Which brings us to why this is a hint. The only way to obtain the Grand Rose in Trista is to purchase it from the town floors. So if we ask the floors to purchase one... Precisely. We will be able to discover just which Shy Maiden has sent these letters to me. Would you take on, on this task for me then? As long as you don't mind me sticking to the plan we just discussed, I don't see why not. I am truly indebted to you. Based on her pseudonym um, and her use of a Grand Rose, I can only imagine our lady is a, is a very model of grace. Now that you mention it, what was the name she used? Oh, it seems I neglected to mention that very important detail. She calls herself the Grand Maiden. A nickname taken from the daughter of a baron who married into the imperial family long ago. The emperor at the time was so smitten that he gave her countless numbers of Grand Roses, and so came the moniker. I see. Can't say I've heard that story before, but it is interesting. 
but this is no time to stand around thinking about it. Or head over to the flower shop right away. Very well, I leave this man in your capable hands. Quest, quest secret admirer is started. Next. Go to the park. V is here, but we're, we don't, we're not here for her yet, just yet. Excuse me, would you mind if I ask you a question? Not at all, go ahead. We can explain the situation to Jane and ask about any questions who have recently purchased any grand roses. Hmm. It wouldn't be hard to find out if I looked at my records, but I'm not exactly sure I should disclose that information. Understand, Michelle. I don't, don't intend to do anything with this information that they don't want me to, though. If they ask me to keep their identity a secret, that's what I'll do. I see. Well, if that's the case, I guess I can help you out. Just remember, though, that it's your job to give the mystery sender your support and nothing more. I wish her the best of luck. <sighs> this request is getting pretty complicated at this point. Right, I count on um, three first years who, who've made a Grand Rose purchase recently. In class order. First is Br Burl, Burl from class 3. Then there's Vivi from class 4 and Rosine from class 5. I see. Thank you very much for the help. The fact that she mentioned Vivi has me worried. I hope she's not trying the same trick on someone else right now. Not at all. Good luck. Okay, Princess Rosine. It's definitely, it's definitely not her. I wouldn't wish to, wish visit upon someone as nice as Rosine. Excuse me, you're Rosine from Class 5, aren't you? That's correct, why do you ask? I have a quick, kind of personal question for you. He explains the situation to Rosine and asks if it was her who sent the letters to Vincent. Oh no, that certainly wasn't me. I did buy a grand rose, but it was for, for the purpose of decorating the church. Oh, I see. Sorry to ask such an embarrassing question then. It's fine. Okay. Union building. Union building. Going up in It was it you? No, it's not. You're too creepy. I wouldn't say creepy. You're too mysterious. Um, your bell from. Uh, from class three, right? <laughs> I certainly am. What do you want from me? Actually, there was something I wanted to ask you. We talk about the investigation. Are you the one who sent the visit the letter? <laughs> do I seem like the kind of girl who would be interested in romance? I needed to purchase the grand rose to use in a ritual. That's all. I, I see. That answered my question. But now I'm wondering what the ritual she mentioned is all about. That's all I want to ask. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to be disturbed. Good day to you. To the courtyard. Vivi, do you have... Do you possibly have some explaining to do? What's up, Vivi? Were you so taken take with my feminine charge that you couldn't stand another moment away from me? There's something I'd like to ask you. Situation, and are you are you in love with Vincent? Definitely not. Well, now that is pretty interesting. I'm going to take it take that as a no. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was me, but I'm having too much fun teasing Linda a, a, to set to set my sights on any boys right now. Of course you are. You did buy a grand rose though. Don't tell me you tricked another poor unsuspecting soul into helping you torment her. Pretty much. But can you blame me? She falls for it every single time. I can't help myself. You're a monster. Poor Lindy. I can't imagine what she has to deal with 
with a sister like this. I asked all three girls the four uh, told me about, but none of them seemed to have sent the letters. I guess the tra trail's gone cold. I should report, the, report, back, the, report back to Vincent for now. Well, that turned out to be a, a grand, grand waste of time. Tell me, did your investigation prove successful? Wait, don't tell me. Have you brought a mystery woman here? Oh, be still, my beating heart. Yeah, about that, I wasn't able to find her in the end. You can't be serious. Did you ask the four us, as we discussed? I did, and I spoke to all three girls who purchased Grand Roses. None of, the, none of the reasons for doing so had anything to do with you. I can go into detail if you like. It matters not. If they do not concern me, then uh, they are simply not my concern. I'm sorry I wasn't any help. But there is one thing I am I'm curious about. Where could a girl get a grand rose if she didn't go to the forest? There's no way to tell. Perhaps if the grand, grand maiden is a noble, she could have, could have had an alternate source. However, my darling Vincent, I found you. Yep, it's Margaret. Who goes there? Stay your business. The cookies I just baked ended up far more delicious than I ever could have imagined. So delicious that they could only be destined for the lips of my beloved, my elegant, dashing, darling Vincent. What could could possess a person to approach another out of nowhere and say such befuddling things? Furthermore, I do not even do not have even the foggiest idea who you are. <laughs> oh, but you do. What if I told you that I was the grand, grand maiden all along? No way. Way. Dumbfounded. I can hardly believe you for being speechless with joy. My real name is Margarita uh, uh, Dra Drayson, Drayson, and the lovely grand roses I attached were grown by my family. So that's how you got them. If you're a part of the ba of Baron Dresden's family, eh, then could it mean? Oh, so you know the story? Your suspicions are indeed correct. I, Margaret uh, uh, Dresden, and hail from the same family line as the lovely Grand Maiden herself. It all adds up. Inconceivable. How could you, of all people, be related to the Grand Maiden? When her beauty pales in comparison to your own? Look, darling, we were already completing complete each other's thoughts. And yours are oh so sweet. What you said couldn't have been further from my actual thought. <laughs> when you're shy, you're still so wonderful. Seeing the surprise on your handsome face made waiting to reveal my name entirely worth it in the end. Now, my beautiful Vincent, it's time for you to reply to my love lovers. Will you enter a relationship with me? You may choose one of two replies. I would be delighted. Or, there will be no greater honor. Sorry, how many options did you say you were giving him? This woman could hardly be more different than the demure maiden her letters made out to be. Only answer for you is a resounding no. Now be gone and bother me no more. So, that's how it is. See, oh, just when I think you could be more adorable. I think you're the sort of man who hides his two feelings away. I beg your pardon? There's only the fear. Please have one of these special cookies I prepared. To keep your innermost lo longings out of public view. <laughs> don't tell me you mix something into your cookies. 
more, but that's for me to know and you to find out. Stay back! Don't come any closer! You! Don't just stand there! I need your aid if I'm to survive! I have no idea how to handle a situation like this either. <laughs> don't worry, my darling. There may be a slightly bitter aftertaste, but it'll be all worth it in the end. I've been looking for you, Master Vincent. Sarifa. Did I ask what you're doing in a place like this? <laughs> Sarifa, I beg of you, please. Free me from this terrifying situation. If I recall, you're my sweetheart's darling maid, are you not? So this is Sarifa he mentioned. As much as I hate to interrupt the situation at hand, I am a, I am afraid I must. Master Vincent, your presence at the upper class storm is required at once. A delivery of the utmost importance from Count Floral to await you there. Uh, I see. Then I got no, they have no choice. I must go at once. But these cookies are a present for Master Vincent, are they not? In that case, may I ask him to leave them in my hands for now? Make sure he enjoys every last one of them later. Well, if you insist. Margarita begrudgingly handed over the bag of cookies to Sorry, Sorry Fa. He seems as though Master Vincent has roped you into this nonsense as well. Hopefully, this can dull some of the pain that this annoyance has surely caused you. Prismatic cake. Thank you. With that, I wish you all a good day. Let's, let's go, Master Vincent. I indeed. He's like, run away! <laughs> run away, little Vincent. Run away. That may, may prove to be quite the obstacle. But no matter, there shall be plenty of opportunities to move my darling from here on out. <laughs> I believe it's time to get started on a new batch of cookies. And off she goes, too. Just leave her reading and be like, what just happened? Well, today's been a full, been full of unique encounters, to say the least. At least that request is over and done with. Okay, next. Thanks for stopping by. Might I ask where Elisa and Laura? Those two lovely flowers would do wonders in brighten up this dreary old building. Hmm. Does that make Reen's life even harder than it already is? <laughs> Sorry, I probably shouldn't think out loud. <laughs> I still haven't talked to Angelica much, but she's definitely an interesting one. That aside, your request is for me to assist with testing out the oval bike, wasn't it? So what would I be doing? Oh, please, I can hear you making those vroom vroom noises before you even step through the door. I was not, but wait, does that mean... Yeah, we want you to ride the oval bike. Me? I can't deny that's what I wanted this to be, but I never expected it to actually happen. I'll give you all the juicy details when we actually, we're actually ready to test. Before we start, however, we want to make sure you have the time. So how about it? You ready to ride? Yes! That's right! Good answer! First of all, let me tell you a little bit about the bike. Everything you see here is something that Angie asked me to build for. And because of that, the bike's been fine-tuned to meet our specific needs. In a nutshell, it's all Angie, the engine, the brakes, and even the handlebars. I see. As you might expect, she and that bike are practically symbi symbiotic. When she's on it, she's a sight to behold. But because as we tuned it specifically to her, it's become a little too tough for anyone else to handle. <laughs> Think of her as an unruly horse. There's no denying she's a fine bike, but she doesn't pay, play nice with strangers. Right, I'm really hoping to make it through this alive. Don't skill him now, Angel. He crows right in there just fine. 
I suppose he's been working on this bike since we started too. Compared to him, you're a complete big animal. Which is great. You have more objective opinion after your ride. I guess it makes sense why you asked me that. I feel a little nervous now, are we? Let's head over to the highway. You're a crow and a toa here too. So, what are Crow and Toa to to and Crow doing here? Haha, <laughs> Nancy and George told us you'd be doing this. So I came along to show some support and take some, some time off work. My reason isn't quite as sweet as little Toa is here. Like I said before, this bike at least, at least partially my baby. Think of me as an overprotective father, make sh making sure you don't mess up and hurt my girl when you, when you take her out. Thanks. Bro, oh, don't make him any more nervous. Don't worry, Reed, just ignore everything this guy says. I do, and it's worked great for me. We can rebuild the bike, so stay focused on keeping yourself safe. Right, thanks. You have much experience riding horses. Actually, yeah. You shouldn't have any trouble then. She's a whole different beast, but the basics of riding are all the same. So have fun. Thanks, Angelica, that helps. I won't let you down. Okay then, that should be just about everything you need to know. I think again now. The three things you want me to test are starting up the bike, shifting gears, and coming to a stop, correct? That's right, we want to see how you handle everything. Let me give you a few pointers, you might not really get them until you're on the bike proper though. Hit me. First of all, you can't ride if you can't get moving, so let's talk about how to get started. Starting the engine is simple enough, but how smoothly you ride off will depend on how well you operate the bike's clutch. Once you shift in the first gear, open the throttle, then slowly and steadily release the clutch. Release the clutch slowly and steadily while I stop moving. Okay, I'll try not to forget. Next up is switching gears. Before switching gears, make sure to pull in, in the clutch firmly, quickly and firmly. Once you shift gears, just release the clutch slowly and steadily, just like when you start her up. I can do that. Last thing you need to worry about is stopping the bike, which you probably want to know how to do. When you want to slow down, release the throttle and apply the brakes to both wheels front and back. You're going to want to give each one different amounts of pressure though. Apply the brakes strongly to the front, front wheel and lightly to the back wheel. That should bring you to a smooth stop. Strongly to the front, lightly to the back. That's a lot to remember, but I think I can do this. Haha, <laughs> that's the way. Hey, this is all about uh, learning. It's all about learning to, learn to experience and getting used to riding on the fly anyway. So what do you say, ready to go? You bet. Right then, first up, first is start up the engine. Wow, this is pretty intense. <laughs> it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of how I felt when I first rode a horse. Right, let's push those nerves to the side and get going. Okay, so I pull the clutch levels, shift the first gear, and then and twist the throttle. Now that I've done that, all I need to do is let go of the clutch and I'll be moving. Jacob told me how to do this. What exactly did she say again? Release the clutch quickly and firmly. Nope. It's release the clutch slowly and steadily. Now we're talking. This is great. Haha, <laughs> there he goes. Can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets back. He's gonna love it. <laughs> Hopefully. Wow, this feels amazing. I'm 
amazed just how stable and smooth the ride is, too, considering how heavy it is. I think I'm used to the speed now. Let's try switching gears. Right. First, I need to roll off the throttle. Then, I need to pull in the clutch, change gears, then release it. Jacob told me I had to handle the clutch in a specific way during all this. What was it again? Again. And uh, the second one, pull in quickly, release slow. Oh, right. I need to pull in the cl clutch quickly and firmly, then change gears. And after that, I need to release the clutch slowly but steadily. There we go, perfect. Going this fast really does feel great. I get why Angelica loves it so much. Well, this fun's gotta come to an end eventually. It's probably our time to stop. Obviously I need the brakes, but how much pressure do I put on them? Strongly at front, lightly at back. Pretty sure Angelica said strong and the front brakes light on the rear brakes. I stopped almost exactly where I expected to, so I guess I did it right. This thing's incredible though. It feels like I'm still riding along even though I come to a stop. But I guess I gotta snap out of it eventually. The others are waiting for me. Better head back now. vibration and the feeling of the wind as you ride along? I've never experienced anything like it. No massive amount of horse riding could have ever prepared me for this. Just wow. <laughs> guess you got some guess you got some potential. Look at this guy. He's trying to act all calm and composed, but his face is just screaming, let me go back out and ride. Playing his day. Seems like you handled it really well too, based on your report. I have to admit, I didn't expect those kinds of results out of you. Pretty well unwieldy machine. It's even more impressive uh, considering it was his first ride with a too. Nice to know I could, could have a worthy rival waiting in the wings. He, not everyone can get that much praise out of Angie. You should pay yourself for the back. <laughs> it's a real honor. Now we need to hear some more detailed impressions of each face. But let's do that back at the engineering building. Good plan. Aw, they're having so much fun with this. <laughs> Maybe too much. Give me a moment.
I'm back, sorry for the lay there. Haha, <laughs> glad I can help. I think she'll be much more stable, um, um, be a much more stable right from now on. I'll have to be sure to tell Alicia's mother about everything we learned today if they end up mass producing all the bikes. Alicia's mother is the chairman of Reinford Group, isn't she? I didn't know you were familiar with each other. The Wagner and Reinford family share a good relationship, actually. Oh yeah, they're both big names in Roar, right? Yeah, Angie's dad is one of the group's biggest shareholders, too. Wow, they are pretty close. Well, now you know. Elisa's mother provided the engine and a number of other parts for the bike, too. So that's how you got your hands on everything. That's right, although whether or not Reinford will actually mass produce the bike is an entirely different matter. The biggest goal is to turn a profit, so the only way it's happening is if we can show them that it will make money. All oh, these bikes will definitely make money. Which is why we're currently trying to make it into something that the masses can handle. And today, you are a big help in getting close to that goal. Wow, I'd love to see that happen. <laughs> Looks like you get it. And I guess my first impression of you will right on the mark. Oh, I haven't properly thanked you yet, have I? Thank you for helping us today. Here's a little token of my, of my thanks. A dragon vein. Are you sure about this? It seems like a really valuable quartz. <laughs> of course. I'm sure you'll be able to put it to good use. Oh, that mean? Thanks, uh, thanks a lot for your help today. I'd like if you could help us out next time we need a hand, too. I'll cancel my plans as soon as you ask. Born to be orbital complete. Now that I've seen you give it a shot, I want to go for a ride myself. I hope George finishes the modification soon. Okay. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Oh, almost forgot about that too. Celine's over here. Give her milk. <laughs> she seems so happy. Maybe I'll bring her some more, some more another time. Okay. Um. Okay, for people who play playing this for the first time or didn't collect it, you talk to this person, you learn you learn a cooking recipe. Anyway, over here, Rosie. Yo, how you feel about your first midterms? Well, I think I passed at the very least. How about you? Sitting slightly above average, I think. Would have gotten better if I could have got my hands on a list of test questions in advance, though. Damn, I should have seen if old, old man Mick was good for it. You know, I really doubt he'd, he'd had something like that for sale. You looking for Sarah? She's not going to be back till later. Oh, so he knew she was wasn't in Trista? Uh, nope. Feel convincing there, Mitch. I just wanted to buy stuff. I don't know what you you thought I was at, at, asking for.
But yeah, he, now you, you, you get EP2 if you want. Some of the, like, if you manage to actually get the items, enough items for them, some of the stuff is really good to get. Get as soon as you're able to. Like, Carnal Drive. Munchy sandwich, intermediate chest. Here's the appeal chronicle issue three. Okay, next we have three people this time that we can uh, we could bond with. I mean, not three. I mean, we got seven people we could bond with. So, if there's anyone in the chat that has anyone particular that I want that they want to see first, feel free to feel free to mention it. Besides, I don't really have a particular order I want to do. So. Unfortunately, there's one extra, so it's like I can't really use a die. Hey, so I had I had to pick someone first. That's anyway. I think it's Machias that has the um. The, so the option I think the options are Fee, Lar, Usus, Machias, Elisa, Elliot, and Toa. And I think the oh, these two. I'm really just on how often your class gets to travel. It would be amazing if our club a club could travel around the Empire taking photos as we want. But given our limited budget, the best we can manage would be a trip to Heimdall. And finally, there's the florist and the bouquet owners. Oh, wait, I've created a list of every single cute girl interest them. So, we're gonna start with Fee. What's with the stone look, Fee? Turns out I'll be growing some flowers for the club. But I need to go and get the tools. I see, sounds tough. Kinda of weird to see you this serious about something, though. It happens sometimes. Should I give her a hand? Yes, we do, will. Would you like me to help you out? Hmm, sure. Have fun. I wasn't offering to do it for you, Fee. Aww. Given how many types of plants there are, you, you've got no shortage of options. Have you got any idea of what you want to raise? Yep. Fee took out a small bag filled with seeds and showed it to me. Oh, what are these? Flower seeds. I don't know what they're called, though. Someone gave them to me when I was in the corpse. Had them ever since. Ah. Do you know how to raise them then? Yep, they told me how. They were kind of joking about raising them with love. I don't know if that was a joke. My mom says the same thing about the plants she grows in our kitchen. So does Edel. I don't know much about love though. That's... Then maybe this is the right time for you to try to raise them. But man, your course sounds so different from the image image I always had in my head. How so? Mm, the way you tell it, it sounds sound like one big family in a sense. I always thought Jaegers were, well, a bit more violent and bloodthirsty, I guess. It was just being now minded though. Can't blame you. Everyone's more concerned about the negative re reputation Jaegers have after than anything else. There are some people who can't even accept their existence. 
What do you mean? Nothing. Let's hurry and buy the tools and fertilizer. Good idea. I've never seen those seeds before, so let's exchange for some advice on the best way to raise them. Green and Fee bought the, bought the tools and fertilizer they needed. Afterwards, they made their way back to the Academy's flower bed to plant the seeds. That should do it. It should bloom in a few months if I raise them right. I hope they grow up big and strong. Me too. Oh, also, thanks for the help. <laughs> Anytime. Your bond with fee strengthened. It should bloom in a few months if I raise them right. I don't know if I can though. You'll do fine, trust me. I suppose. There's no need to worry about test results. We don't we don't make these flowers while we raise them, right? The most important thing is to grow up strong and healthy. There's more to life than test results. I can't help but love pranking Linda. She's just so easy. I really can't think of a better toy. A uh, friend and a twin sister. <sighs> or worse enemy. You worried about your exam results? Look, don't sweat stu stuff like that when you're out fishing. If your mind's not at peace when you set up your line, there's n there's no point of even being out here. Speaking of which, fishing. I need more points. Trails of fishing. Trails of fish. Hey, you know, I got that. Yeah, I want to save up points for some other stuff. Not these, but... I, I, I could get more EP3s if I have more... Um, get more points. Anywho, now we have six people that we can do. So... So I'm gonna get use the dice. And our next bond event will be it turns out to be Laura. Hugo Kleist. What are you up to? Becky seems to seem pretty disappointed that by how she did on the midterms. I tried to help her study, I really did, but she wasn't having it. I suppose she's the type to be completely unaware of the trouble she's in and until something bad happens. 
Oh no, I didn't do, do so well on, the exa on those exams. Maybe I should have listened to Hugo and studied a wee bit more. Man, I didn't expect to, them to be this hard. Oh yep. Is a pretty good work for age. Wow, I like the cut of a gym. I think I'll give her a little bonus. Being able to cheer other folks up is always a good thing in my books. And here's a lot. Oh, hello, me. It's weird to see you here by yourself. What's up? <laughs> I actually found myself rather interested in this store's wares, so I decided to browse for a while. I'm surprised at how enjoyable it's been. Should I join her? Yep. Why have I joined you? <laughs> Feel free. Maybe this would be a good chance to have, have you tell me more about the things being sold here. <laughs> well, I don't know all that much about it myself. Mishi! Hmm. They have a wide variety of items here on display. Most of which I'm unfamiliar with. Which leads, leads to a question I'd like to ask you, Mean. What sort of goods and accessories do girls my age tend to like? Uh, what? As well, oh, because, I ask because, well, I've noticed that there's a significant difference between myself and the other girls here. For example, I went shopping with Monica recently and only find myself searching for equipment to keep my sword in shape. Meanwhile, Monica was finding over cute accessories and the like. Doesn't this prove I'm rather strange? Well, you're from a different class background, for one thing. That's the difference between you already. But even amongst the, the other novels, you are a little bit different. Just as I thought. But this is this is of no issue. If there's, no, if there's something I lack, then all I need to do is take the opportunity to learn. Now tell me, which of these items here will most likely grab a girl's attention? I mean, I'm not exactly an expert on the subject, but... Mishy. Mean grab the cute mascot plus that was sitting on the shelf. How about this Mishy plus? He's a pretty popular character over in Crossbell. Fascinating. He's certainly charming to say the least. But how about this? Oh, grab the strap, the strap of a blue hair muscle, muscular man attached to it. Yes. It's an ease reference. It's Doggy. This Doggy character has a rather ga gallant look, look to him, doesn't he? I'm 100% sure that most girls won't have any interest in him. Ah, oh, poor Doggy. Poor, poor Doggy. Unfortunately, yep. Yeah, especially with the fact that he has he has Addo with him. Most of the girls are interested in Addo, not Doggy. Uh oh. This is more challenging than I expected. Green and Laura ended up looking at an assortment of products appealing, appealing to Laura's unique taste. In the end though, they ended up purchasing the Mishy Plus. I could be more grateful for your assistance, Reed. If it weren't for you, I never would have purchased something so nice. Haha, <laughs> not problem. Still, my grand that's when one of the girls my age like it remained tenuous. It seems I have a long, long and harsh path ahead of me if I ever truly to, if I'm ever truly to know. You know, you don't have to force yourself to be like everyone else. Because you aren't like everyone else. You are who you are, and that's exactly why we like you. Hmm. <laughs> you give me a lot to think about today. Let me take you once again. I'd, I'd like for you to. I'd like for us to go shopping again if you ever have the time. Sure, that would be fun. I feel kind of relieved that thanks in part to you. You should do this again if you get the chance. Okay. Next. Now we have five left.
next roll is... Uses. Oh. I refuse to accept any blame for this. So at least it's far for bringing a maid to, into a dorm. She can't do that. She's a common after all. I didn't step a single toe out of line. There's nothing wrong with getting into arguments every now and again. In fact, Emily and I argued all the time as fresh years. If there's one good thing about fights, it's that they're, they're honest. Honesty is the only way you can truly bond with someone. At least the first got into a big argument earlier. <sighs> and here I thought it could get a friendly post midterm match going. So much for that, I guess. So bad, so sad. You. Wow, your clothes are covered with dirt. You're even more into this than I realized. <laughs> it's just dirt, hardly an issue. It takes a good deal of effort to care for horses. I suppose it's only natural to end up like this. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Should I give him a hand? Care for a little help? I've got some experience working with horses myself, so it'll help get things. I hope it'll help things go a little faster. It must be your hobby to show up unbidden, unbidden to assist people. Your offer does come at an opportune moment, though. I was just about to start washing them, so feel free to join in. Scrub, scrub. Phew, this is every bit as tough as I remember it being. Hm, all you think of throwing in the towel? You're the one who offered the help, so don't think I'll let you let you back out so easily. <laughs> I know, I know. Why don't you get a little tired yourself, Eusis? We won't want you to overexert your frail little noble body or anything. Maybe you should go take a nap. Hmm, what do you take me for? This is nothing. Perhaps if you put as much effort into your work as you did your toothless jokes, we'd be done by now. Shut up, I'm doing just fine. I guess Eusis isn't any friendlier towards girls than he is to guys. Alright, time to folk. Whoa there, we've got a wild one here. Understandable, Th this horse recently arrived from, Nor from the North Highlands. He's still young, so he has hasn't quite grown accustomed to the stables yet. Does the school normally get, get horses all the way from the Highlands? Indeed, they're known, known to breed the best horses. Even the army gets the horses from them. Now then. Eustace gently strokes the horse's neck. You're pretty good at that. When I was younger, I used to go to the stables whenever I felt bored. My brother taught me how to ride horses and how to take care of them. I am truly grateful for that. You two are lucky to have each other. I'm not going to let some sno snotty noble who learned about horses with a silver, silver spoon in his mouth show me up like this. It's subtle, but he's definitely changed since we came back from our last field study. It really feels like he's more willing to be open with us now. Care to explain what you're staring at? <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, we've got, ho we've got a horse to clean. We can help the running club for a while longer before bidding you to farewell. I need to learn so much more about taking care of horses. I can't let a jerk like him outdo me. Nothing is quite as refreshing as, as going for post exam ride. Come, Woodcomb. Today we ride for the sake of freedom. Okay, now we're down to four. Oh, no. Yeah, four. Alright. This is Elisa next.
Huh? Isn't this classroom easily locked? It is, but I checked it, it on a whim and it was open. The janitor must have forgotten to lock it after it was done. I see. So what brings you here? I got into an argument with Ferris earlier. And she started asking me all these questions about my last name after she found out about Sean. And you ran off here. <sighs> How many times am I going to have to deal with this? She seems pretty upset. Maybe there's something I can do to help her out. I'm probably not the best person for this, but do you need someone to talk to, Elisa? It's better to better let these, uh, these things out than bottle them up. Mean. <laughs> Thanks. Whoops, I knew I forgot to lock up. There we are. Uh, you should you should yell. It's like, hey, we're in here. Wait, did he just lock the door? Seems like it. Guess we're locked in. <sighs> My luck keeps getting worse and worse today. At least it's not nighttime or anything. I'm sure someone will come by before too long. Uh, you could bang on the door. Use your, use your, use your arcades to call someone. That's true, but, huh? So it's just uh, Rena me here in the dark behind a locked door. No, Elisa, focus. Ah, oh, this is all Sharon's fault. I won't even be here if Ferris and I won't argue about her. Isn't that a bit of a stretch? You wouldn't say that if you knew her. She don't. She always does this. Imagine living with someone who knows nearly everything about you, but never thinks about your feelings. And, and on top of it all, she always, she's always t taking mother's side. Like she did when... When what? Oh, I... Sorry, I shouldn't have tried to pry. Even so, you don't really dislike Sean, do you? I mean, I guess I can't say dislike. It's kind of hard to dislike someone who's been a permanent fixture in your life since you were a kid. See what I mean? If she's going to be at the academy anyway, you might as well try to make the best of it. Besides, she's sort of like an older sister to you, right? Siblings are always easy to deal with. You're right about that. But still, it wouldn't kill her to think about me a little more. <laughs> now a moment goes by in which I don't think of you, Lady Elisa. Sharon, what are you doing here? Whenever you're in need, I shall be by your side. After all, isn't that what an older sister is for? <laughs> she knows how to make an entrance, I'll give, give her that. I can't believe she heard all that. Oh my, I didn't interrupt anything personal between the two of you, did I? I would be more than happy to lock the door again and leave, you, leave the two of you to whatever it was you were up to in here. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing like that is happening at all. Nothing at all. You can just stay here. Cause nothing like that's gonna happen on my watch. At least not between these two. Don't even joke about that. Like she said. My guard down around you, can I, Sharon? Whatever, I'll let you off this time since you got unlocked the door for us. <laughs> I will undo any, undo any lock for your sake, Elisa. After all, I want you to think me as an elder sis. Oh, stop that! It's embarrassing. I would do anything for your sake, Lady Elisa. After all, we've been working, we've been together for so many years. We're practically family. I feel a little bit better now that I've gotten that out of my system. Thanks for listening to me. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Okay, next. So we're down to three. And... Ho! 
was the winner this time. Are you looking forward to the midterm results announcements, Mrs. I am? <laughs> it sounds strange to say it, but I am. You're looking pretty busy for someone who just finished the midterms, though. You bet, now that the year's halfway through, we've got a lot to discuss. So much, in fact, the fact that we, that we even reserved the student to discuss it. There's the Ac Academy Festival. If someone want, wants to use the swimming pool next month, um, there's about a zillion other events. Man, I guess it, it isn't easy being a student council member. I think you're the last person in the world who would actually take this advice, but try not to overwork yourself. I guess I'll consider it. <laughs> Thanks, Reen. She's just as busy as ever. Maybe there's something I can do to help. Is there anything I can help you with? I got some spare time and you seem swamped. Really? That'd be great. It just so happens that our usual note taker is home nursing a cold today. Would you mind filling in for her? No problem. If there's one thing I can do is write notes. So it fell to me to jot down every idea, both helpful and harebrained, raised at the student council meeting. After a short parade of exchange names, shaking hands, and slightly too long eye contact, he got down to business. Alright, that should cover everything on the agenda. Summer will be here before we know it, so I think the pool should be our highest priority. Agreed, we'll get right on it. You should decide who will be handling each task while we're at it. Then allow me to take care of the arrangements regarding the pool. I'll get the documents sorted out and hand, hand them over to the requisite instructors. You mean it? Thanks! Let me know if anything comes up. Oh, speak of which, do we have any updates on what we discussed last month? moment, please. Allow me to gather the necessary documents. She's so good at her job, even that the upper class students are hang hanging on, on her every word. I guess she doesn't just charm her way into the office. Several similarly riveting, riveting discussions later, the council me meeting drew to a close. Thanks for the help today, me. You really didn't need to stay and help me. Every help me clean everything up. I'm glad you did. You always do so much for us. I'm just trying to return the favor. But you really, you're really something, you know that. That mean had a ton of stuff uh, to sort out and plan, but you made it look easy, like you're a human student notebook. <laughs> Thanks. I think you might be exaggerating a bit, though. I couldn't get a thing done without the rest of the student council. Not a thing. Really? <laughs> you probably saw it during the meeting. We were able to sort everything out because everyone's, everyone brought their ideas and opinions to the table. I, I sit in my fancy chair and act out my role as president, but they're the ones doing all the heavy lifting. I never thought of, the, thought, thought of it that way. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm really suited to being present. But if everyone believes I am, there's no way I can't let them down. Even if I can't meet all their expectations, I will show them that I'm trying. Well, I guess that's, that's the best anyone in your shoes can do. Still, Toa's at least got mu much to guide her. Maybe if I knew wh what I wanted to do, if I had that kind of purpose, is maybe I know what kind of man I want to be. Me? Pop. President Toa stood on her tiptoes, straining with all her might to reach up and gently pinch Reed's cheeks. What are, what are you, you doing? <laughs> Sorry, you just looked so stone-faced for a sec for a second. I couldn't help myself. 
You're a first year, no need to get ahead of yourself. You got another full year to figure things out. Wait, you're not psychic, are you? I know how hard you've been working, Mean. I can see it as well as anyone, if not better. I don't know what has you so worried, but your answer will come in time. Just take things step by step. I guess. No, no, you're right. Deep down, I know what she's saying is true. If I suck it, if I start getting desperate, I'm just gonna paralyze myself in fear. <laughs> we still have a lot more stuff to clean up and put away. But once we once we finish, I'll make ourselves some make us some tea. <laughs> That's one way to get me to hurry up. Thus, me and Toa finished up, finished their clean up, and sat down to enjoy a lovely cup of tea today together. Thanks for the hand, me. You're the council's favorite student, student right now. Just remember, don't push yourself too much, too hard. Muscle in on big, big six Toa's territory, and she'll put you in your place. <laughs> Why do you feel more threatened than dank? Okay. Now we got two left. Machias and Elliot. Elliot it is. Machias your last. Over there. <laughs> Yee, Billy! Yee, this flute isn't working! Try blowing into the mouthpiece, man. Oh! Everyone's a bit out of practice after those exams. We all need to get back into the swing things. That goes triple for men. Lately, Margar Margarita has been putting more enthusiasm than ever into her cooking. Is it because we're done with exams? Well, either way, you won't hear any complaints out of me. I had planned on cleaning the club room, the club room up a little bit now that I finished grading exams. I can imagine my surprise when I, I came along to find everyone already here. Truly enough, it could make a teacher happy than to see students so dedicated to the work. We even decided to be, it'd be a good idea to compete for the highest exam scores. She claims she has a special punishment in store for other losers. So, in the, so now, in addition to, stress exam, to exam stress, I'm terrified about whatever she's planning. Our midterms gave me a chance to come up with a clear image of what I want to paint. I'm not planning to, on submitting anything to contests or competitions though. Oh, so for now, I'll focus on painting for myself. Everyone's running around going on about the test scores like they're something important. But in the end, test scores are merely numbers. As such, they are inconsequential to my art. Now that the exams are over, I'm feeling pretty good too. So maybe I'll try try to play some music pieces. Speak of which, I wonder what Alan's up to. Actually, what is Alan up to? Wrong place. Gymnasium. I've been practicing every bit as hard as I've been studying, Patrick. This time you're going down. Very well, come at me then. I'll brush you aside like the dirt you are. 
A rematch between a Patrick and Alan seems like the perfect way to get things going again at the midterms. Now then, let's get started. Damn, did you expect something like this so soon after our exams? Guess we got some hotheads on our hands, huh? <laughs> First years. I've ever seen Law not put all into something, so I can't blame her for taking a break. I guess it's not my business though, I should be worried about how much effort I'm putting in. Laura said she wasn't feeling up for practice today. I was shocked, but there must be something she needs to sort out. I get the feeling she's not exactly ready to talk about it either yet. Stuff since I joined the club, I haven't imp improved at all. I'm just not getting better no matter how much I try. Maybe I'm just not trying hard enough. Okay, back. Elliot. I got distracted. Ah, nothing relaxes me quite like cradling a violin in my hands. Especially since I never had much of a chance to play during our midterms. Yeah, most clubs put their regular meetings on hold while exams are going on. You seem pretty happy though. It's that obvious, huh? I plan on pretty much spending the entire day just playing. After not playing for so long, I'm out of form, so I need to get back to it, back into it. I'm kind of interested in seeing them play. Would you mind if I listened in? Oh, be my guest. I just need to get ready, though, so just hold on a bit. So, what do you think? I'm impressed. I never would have guessed you'd take it a break from midterms um, if you hadn't told me. <laughs> you mean it? Good to hear. Seems like you're really enjoy uh, you're enjoying yourself when you play. I can, I can practically hear your love for music in every note. Ah, cut it out, you're embarrassing me. Uh, oh, by the way, I've been wondering about this for a while, but you're a musician yourself, aren't you, Wee? Uh, kinda. What tipped you off? It was just a feeling I had. I can't really explain it, but it's like I can tell if someone has even the slightest bit of musical experience. The slightest bit is right. I used to play the lute for a while back home. But that's a, that's a pretty impressive sense you have. You're really on another level when it comes to anything musical. <laughs> I think you might be exaggerating just a little. Not at all. Most people wouldn't pick up on something like that. It shows the extent of your passion for music. That's something I respect. Passion isn't enough though, not in music. If I want to get better, I need to bet. I need to better. I'm going to need better equipment. But given the compromise, I can't even ask for that. What compromise? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. But it's nice to confirm um, that you really do play an instrument, Green. We should play together sometime. I've got a lot of us to work off, but I'd like that. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm looking forward to being able to play alongside you one day. Back to the student union building. Uh, Maki's in down here. So he's probably playing chess. 
wrong world. But hey, look. What do you see? Um, Dorothy, what is this exactly? The outline for our next work, of course. It's a pure love story focused on boys who devote themselves to sports, body, and soul. Don't worry, though. I'll let you join in on the fun, too. Oh, you'll be helping me out once I've got, got the rough draft written up. Her tastes are certainly broad. I felt so good after finishing those exams, I was inspired to plan out an amazing new story. Now all I need to do is focus on writing it. I was particularly aware that this genre is popular with women, but seeing it firsthand is really... Does Dorothy really intend to have me help with this? Yes, yes she does. I'd say run away, but you're too late. Hmm, you're really something, Marcus. You're always calculating your next move. Ooh, I've got to figure out how to do that. Wow, he looks like he's really into it. Ah, hello there, Reed. Sorry, I was caught up in my game there. No worries, sorry if I disturbed you. Is there a big chess game coming up or something? You seem way more focused than I expect just for a regular match. Indeed, there is. It's not just any match either. It's a match that will determine the fate of this club. I have every intention of completely dominating the upper class students. Chess always seems pretty interesting. I sh should I stick around and watch? Yep. Would you mind if I watch you play for a bit? I'm familiar with the rules, at least, and it seems like a pretty involved, involving game, even as a spectator. My guess. But if you know the rules, how about we play a game instead? I'm sure you'd have more fun doing than just watching. Are you sure? Might as well. I'll watch you too, so come on and take a seat here. And that's checkmate. That didn't take long. That was some high-level play, Marcus. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> it's nothing special. My father taught me to play when I was young. We've been playing against each other ever since, so I've had years of practice now. Apparently, he never lost a game back home. He really is the savior of the chess club. So you're playing against adults ever since you were a kid. That's definitely that definitely explains things. I used to tag along with my dad whenever. He went out hunting, but I never got that good at it. There. Sorry. No, no, I shouldn't have reacted like that. Hunt is not an, exclu not an exclusively noble pastime, after all. It's just not that common, common in Heimdall. <laughs> I can imagine. That's what feels like gave me a lot to think about. I've come to realize that, that it's unfair of me to pass judgment on nobles Except people be being born into that life. For example, I've never met your parents, but I can tell from talking to you that they're good people. Marcus. <laughs> Man, I'm glad we made up. Don't start getting weird on me now. I don't really get what you're talking about, but yeah, friendship's what you all about. Speaking of, how about you join your pal in the chess club, Ian? You need as many people as possible if you want to take down the upper class chess club. Sorry, but I'll have to decline. The members of the upper chess cl club like humiliating players weaker than they are. This isn't about the fact that they are nobles anymore. They're shaming the very act of playing chess pure and simple. And Stefan and I aren't gonna let that stand. Well said, Marcus. <laughs> I'll be cheering you guys on. But look, Marcus. Thanks, I won't let you down. Strengthened bonds. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, we do have some time, so what I am going to do is I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do the uh, the schoolhouse. Oh, so then probably call it after that. End the stream after that. 
there's no hidden quests, and we did all the bonding events and at the moment. This will be our third time going down into the old schoolhouse. The layout had really shifted around last time, so I better finish everything up and prep before heading in. Should we get the show on the road? Yep, the day will advance to evening, and all bottom events and quests will expire. This feeling, it's like before. There really must be something down in here. Anyway, let's get this party started. Everyone from Class 7 had said they're willing to come along. Now, who should I call? So I could take five people with me. So... I think for this time around, we're going to do... Go to Fee. Let's do Fee... Machias. Usus. Um, Emma. And... Guys. Yeah, let's do those. Those. All right, right. Let's go. Everyone ready? Just give the word. I've been informed of what you've you've discovered during your previous investigations. Unlike certain and elements among us, there's no chance I'll hold you back. Ben, I've been referring to me. I have no intention of slowing anyone down. All right, I'm counting you. As what happened last time, there's no telling what we're in for. Keep your wits about you, everyone. Um, let's see. The only one that's not equipped is Gaius. Just give him some random stuff. Actually, you know what? Because it because it'd be funny. I'm gonna start in this chapter. I'm gonna just be goofy.
So this is the elevator that you mentioned. It does seem rather mysterious. Oh, another another light's lit up on the main panel too. Looks like we can go, go down as far as the third floor now. When did that happen? Hmm, how could this device possibly work? What's powering it? Anyway, let's check out what the third floor has in store, in, has in store for us. We need to investigate whether anything else has changed this month. This seems to be the third, third floor. Here's another stone door, hardly surprised at this point. A door like this seems more like it's to keep undesirable things in and then to keep us out. Yeah, I think we can safely assume we're, we're not headed for a picnic. Alright, let's be careful out there everyone. So, ちらの先生、お仕切り。行くぞ。せいや、今だ。ほらい。と、任せて。あ。はあ。うん。なんとか片付いたか。俺の番だな。私の番だね。僕の番だな。任せるがいい。まい。私の番だね。危険度低下。夜夜だね。
任せてくれそこだ<笑>なんとか片付いたか見たいだな。中間地点でしょうか。あ、立派な宝箱。こちらの先生、押し切ろう。行くぞ。私。任せ。僕の。<笑>なんとか片付いた。
私の番だね。ほいっと。クリア。まだ気は抜けないね。行くよ。あ。よし。行くぞ。任せ。あ。こんなところで立ち止まっていられない。
What's the mess of this floor? I must say, it po posed quite the challenge. And you fought monsters like that every time you ventured in here? Yeah, every time we reach the end of a floor, a beast shows up just like that. Is something the matter, Ian? Oh, I just think I might have wor worked out something about this place. It looks like we explored as far as we can go oh, for now. Let's head back outside. I'll tell you more then. That already, huh? Must have been down there for a long time this month, too. Thanks for your help today, everyone. There's no way I could have cleared that place out on my own. No problem. I know you'd have done the same for, for any of us. I'm curious, though. What was it that, What was it you noticed? Well, I think the old school has actually followed certain rules. Rules? Well, think about this. The first rule would have been that there's always a door at the entrance to every floor. The second is that there's always a really tough monster waiting at the end. The third rule is that each month a new floor opens up to, for us to explore. Those all seem to have been the case every time now that I think about it. it kinda makes me feel like someone is testing us. A test? I guess when I stop and think about it, it does it does kind of feel that way. But even assuming that's true, who is it and why? It seems like the only way we'll get to the bottom of this is to keep exploring. Yeah, it seems that way. Either way, we've gone as far as we can, as in as we can go today. Let's meet up again next time. And Scar's mystery is done. And got gladly a headband as a reward. And more bonding points. Because this time we can now hang out with Emma and Gaius. However, that's gonna be that's gonna be have to save for next time. And because it, since that's gonna be the end of the stream for tonight. 
We'll continue with more Trails of Cold, Cold Steel next Saturday. Hey, as we finish up of chapter three's free time, uh, free time, and head towards the next field study. Hey, hey. As for myself, oh. I am going to be streaming more um, Room Factory 3 Special. Oh, that'll be tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. You can find me, find that here at my Twitch channel, which I'm going to post, as well as the usual for, uh, socials for Sulean Skies. But until next time, I hope you all take care. And have a good night.